space, so much emptiness, but so much imagination can be had in this game. So this is what I'm going to be showing you today. This is the new workshop area. I've built it so I can build big ships and I can build small ships and I can also test the variety of the features here. I've also got this ship to show you, but I'll get onto that a little bit more later. So first of all, I built these new sort of small ships. I'm calling them gunships because they're based on the familiar MI-24 helicopter, but you'll have to see them first. This is all one big hangar. I don't know if you've seen the hangar tutorial, but there'll be a link in the description to that anyway. But these hangars open nicely. The inscriptions on them don't really mean anything. I thought in space there'd be some sort of futuristic language that everyone would know, or maybe, maybe just be English, who knows? <laughs> so here's the control pad as usual. It's a nice, really simple door mechanism. Uh, the thing that I've added from the um, basic design though is a little lip on the top of the door so it connects better with the floor. So there they are, the new gunships. I built two of these because I really want to decide on what colour I should have them in. I was thinking about having them in red, but then I was also thinking about having them in blue. I'll just talk you through the design a little bit of these gunships as well. So basically, it's the concept of the MI-24. You've got a double cockpit, you've got someone to control the weapons, and someone to fly it so you can have ultimate con concentration. You've got one minigun at the front here, and then you've got four rocket pods on each side, and these are basically built for, um, let's say, space station attacks. So the ship below, I'll show you actually how they fit in it in a minute. But basically, these would go in, clear it out, and then you bring in behind them the infantry dropships. So I'm gonna build an infantry dropship over here in probably for the next episode. So basically the pilots at the moment just sitting here, come and escort the infantry in. But if you've got an opinion on the colour, it'd be much appreciated because I'm stuck between the blue and the red. Hmm. But anyhow, let's move on to the massive big hangar. So if we drop down here, jump over here, jump over here. And come down here. Oh, we're crouching. Da, 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 da. And jump. Yeah, there we go. Alright, and this is the control panel for the massive door. This massive long door here. So I'll show you it coming down. This one required a lot of power and a lot of effort to control. And so in here, we've got the ship. And I'm congratulating on saying whoever named it the Ace of Spades. That a little comment will pop up in the bottom. I thank you for that because it is a very good name. It is a very nice name, especially for this ship shape as well. The engines are currently off and it's currently in storage while it's unloading its cargo at the moment. But you've seen around that ship. It, this has basically got access up to the main space station again, it's got a small dock there and basically it's the rest is just a cargo area because I'm currently unloading it so I can get it back out there. So it's the same ship, um, under underneath we've got a load of cargo containers with what I'm offloading. On the left we've got a staircase over here. And let's get on to the new ship. Well first of all, I'm going to take you up to theirs and show you how the MI-24 works and fly you in. Because this ship is not just any ship, this is a carrier ship. It's going to be used to carry the MI-24s and the other heli the other sort of, not helicopters, helicopters in space. Aaron, are you crazy? Oh, that would be really weird to see how it, well, obviously it wouldn't work, but just see what would what would do. Maybe the helicopter would just spin around. Hmm. So let's get in the cockpit, go third person, we'll start up the engines, and we'll bring it to a lift, and we'll zap it out. The idea of these helicopters is not helicopters, I'm, I keep saying helicopters. The idea of these um, gunships is for them to fly stable and be able to turn well, and that's exactly what they do. So you can basically bring them around the space station, bombard a position, and then get out of there at a reasonable speed. So I'll show you how this works. Basically, the idea of this ship, this big one here, was to be able to actually store other vehicles in it such as this gunship or transports but obviously you can't do that at the moment because if you start moving the little vehicle inside will float off so when the actual patch comes out we'll be able to store all the beauties in here so I've tested this out well I've not tested this already this will be the first primary test to see if the MI-24 fits in there but the idea would be to have it fit in somewhere like this let me just make sure there's enough space while I'm turning it I don't want to crash it on this thing uh, and there we go, just nice smooth turning and bring it down not very straight, I know, I know, I know Aaron, straighten it up, don't look like a dick, there we go so engine off and out we go so the idea of this is an infantry assault craft so basically you could store a number of these in here as well as you'd have your infantry and so on I'll take you up to the bridge 
this this one's not really built for internal looks it's not got too many crew compartments and so on it's just built really to function and transport these other vehicles around because the rest of the fleet would have that concept so we'll get out at the top and we'll come over here so this is the cockpit I'll just quickly get in the idea of this ship is to defend this as an exit and entrance so you can see the little MI24 in there so this would be sitting down like a carrier you could have one or two of these and just imagine how awesome this would be just launching these out just launching them out I've got gun turrets everywhere I've also been working on these ball turrets as well so they have better coverage because what a lot of people have noticed happen haven't been covering the underneath of the spaceships I mean it's okay for now but as soon as you get in a firefight with actual someone that's handy they'll just come underneath your ship and you'll be absolutely screwed so I've I've not abused any position. Every position that I think could be attacked from, I've covered with a machine gun. Um, originally, this was going to be um, have some exit points underneath, but I decided against that because I don't want too many holes in my ship. And there we go. I've called this um, the Zayton 3 class carrier transport ship. Well, that's a bit of a mouthful. I think I'll just abbreviate it down. But. <laughs> But we've got three massive engines at the back. We've got this rocket pod turret system. When weapons get introduced, it's going to be so amazing just seeing the absolute firepower that you've got. But thanks for watching. And hopefully you guys have got some ideas on what I can do with these MI-24 ships and what colour. Blue or red? Hmm. Not too sure still.